Today I'm speaking with Michael and Charmaine Grant, and I want to know how long have you guys been married? This is our, you know, we've been married now for going on February 18th is our anniversary, wedding anniversary, so we will be married now for 34 years. Michael, I want to ask you, out of all the ladies, how did you know that Charmaine was the chosen one? It was just, we just, we just didn't want that separation anymore. We just wanted to be together and spend time together and get to know each other more. We got closer and closer and closer, and, and you're going to be mine, and I'm going to be yours, <laughs> and nobody else should be looking at you. How did you overcome the challenge of quarantining together during the pandemic? Well, in our home, we have... We have, I have my office, he has his man cave for one. <laughs> so, so he's in his man cave. We do have date night. We may have a date night on our own, going to dinner. We tried that once a week. We may do something with a, a few friends, meaning a few, where it's mainly just four of us um, and we're social distancing, but we're talking. Um, we also, we also like to play board games. You know, we'll play board games, you know, do things like that. We like to cook together. What else do we like to do, honey? Love movies, love, love having an opportunity to, to, uh, to watch movies. Being in, you know, being in this pandemic has really put us in a spot that you can't go anywhere, you can't go to the movies, you can't do all those things anymore, but that fire stick is a joy. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we're able to get on that fire stick and watch every kind of movie that we can think of. And, and you know, and just that, just being able to have that separation, just like Char said, I'm in my area, she's in her area, and, and a lot of times you need that. If we were probably in a one, one bedroom apartment with one <laughs> room, we would probably drive each other crazy. We would. But, you know, but, but having that separation, having that apart that I can come upstairs and be away from her and she can go downstairs and be away from me, that makes a world of difference because after that time is, 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 is you know, has really gone through, it really helps us when we do get back together again. And, you, you know, we'll end up making little joy, uh, jokes like, um, um, we'll be away from each other for a couple hours. She, she, she's in her area, I'm in my area, and we'll come back and we'll come back together again. Oh, did you miss me? Mm -hmm. you, know, and, and, <laughs> you know, and, you know, and kind of joke around like that, but, you know, but, but, but it's, but it's good to have that, that type of separation throughout mm -hmm. the day because that's what you're used to anyway because I'm not used to going to work, Char's used to going to work, and we're away from each other anyway. Every marriage has its ups and downs, but how do you guys resolve conflict in your marriage? A lot of times you have to be able to talk it out. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to talk her out. But, but at the same time, you need that separation again too. You know, we, we, we would talk it off and, you know, and talk about it and, yell and scream and, and get everything off your chest. <laughs> and then she goes in her area, I go in my area and we kind of sit back and, and, and let it settle all in. But we, but it's like that old, that old saying is that you never try to go to bed mad. Mm -hmm. And that's, and that's one thing that we really try to do is that she'll go in her area. I'll go back in mine, but, but when we meet back up again, you know, apologies are said and everything is, you know, right. we have an opportunity to talk about it again. And, and we just kind of work it out, you know, and, and even if we do go to bed mad, it's just that, you know, by the time we, we're, we're so used to each other right now that she says crazy things, I say crazy things, and then the next, the, the next hour of what we having for dinner. You can't just keep, you know, letting it fest and fest and fest over, you know, you got to talk about it. Um, one thing about, um, you know, early on in a marriage, when you're young, you're in love, yeah, you, know, you can get mad. We all know that. And you can stay mad for some days. Right. But as you grow older in your marriage, you don't stay as mad any longer. Because the same thing, you know, you're not going anywhere. You know, that person's not going anywhere. We're going to come back together and you're going to unite as one, um, bottom line. And, you know, and I, and I think, you know, if it is a big blowout or a big, you know, problems, and younger couples have this, but I'm always telling them, hear each other out, you know, hear each other out. Um, I'm not saying, you know, we never had ups and downs because we've had, you know, body's marriage is perfect. You know, we all have flaws, but at the same time, I think um, talking about it, praying about it, you know, as a couple, uh, and just hearing one another out and being respectful of one another, that's going to make everything come back to a full point. Thank you for the interview, Mr. and Mrs. Grant, and congratulations on your 34 years of marriage.